What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oman and today's analysis video is going to be about the Champions League game between PSG and Barcelona. So Barcelona lined up in a 4-3-3 formation which was mostly 4-2-4 with possession and 4-4-2 without possession. While PSG on the other hand also lined up in a 4-3-3 formation which mostly changed to 3-2-5 with possession and 4-5-1 without possession. PSG had no issues when it came to building their play from the back and that was mainly down to Barcelona's very poorly organized high press. So this is how the two teams were lined up on the ground whenever PSG tried to build their play from the back. Barcelona mostly kept a 4-4-2 formation without the ball with Dembélé and Messi pressing the two PSG center backs. Griezmann was dropping in the midfield and he was pressing Florenzi while Sergio Busquets, Frankie de Jong and Pedri were pressing the three PSG midfielders. So Barcelona were always leaving Kozaba totally free on the left side with acres of space to receive the ball and help PSG in the build-up. Barcelona's 4-4-2 formation without the ball with Messi and Dembélé pressing the two PSG centre-backs. Here again, 4-4-2 formation without the ball with Messi and Dembélé pressing the two centre-backs. Griezmann is pressing Florenzi while the three Barcelona midfielders are covering the three PSG midfielders and Kozawa is totally free on the left side. Kimpembe to Paredes who plays a first-time pass for Kozawa to attack the open space. Here again, same pressing pattern, Dembele and Messi are pressing the two PSG centre-backs with Griezmann pressing Florenzi and the three Barcelona midfielders are marking the three PSG midfielders. And Kozawa is once again totally free on the left side to receive the ball and help in the build-up. This time Griezmann and Messi are pressing the two PSG centre-backs and Dembele tries to cover Kozawa. The three midfielders are again covering the three PSG midfielders and this time the right back is left totally free. So one of the PSG fullbacks was always free to receive the ball and help his team during the build-up phase. PSG often changed their formation to a back three with possession. Paredes was dropping in the defense whenever PSG had the ball. This allowed the PSG fullbacks to move up, join the front line and occupy the wide spaces. And this is where PSG created real issues for Barcelona. Whenever Paredes dropped in the defense to make a back three, the front three of Barcelona, Messi, Griezmann and Dembélé often moved up to press the back three of PSG. Since the Barcelona midfielders were busy marking the PSG midfielders, so this gave PSG the chance to easily isolate the Barcelona fullbacks in a one-way two position on the wide areas. And this is what PSG did throughout the game, especially on the right side of Barcelona's defense, where Dest was getting isolated in a one-way two position time and time again. Paredes dropping in the defense with possession to make a back three, and that allowed the fullbacks to move up and occupy the wide spaces. Here again, Paredes is dropping in the defense to make a back three with possession, allowing the fullbacks to move up. And this is where things went wrong for Barcelona. Mbappe was constantly dragging Dest narrow to open the space for Kozawa. And Osman Dembele was failing to track the runs of Kozawa, which left Dest in a 1v2 position time and time again. Mbappe is keeping the fullback narrow, and Kozawa is totally free in acres of space. Here again, Mbappe is keeping the fullback narrow, and Kozawa is once again totally free to receive the ball. Since Dembele was busy pressing the PSG center backs, so whenever Mbappe was able to force the fullback narrow, Kozawa was always free to attack the wide spaces. And this is how PSG scored the first goal as well. Again, the fullback is forced to get narrow, and Osman Dembele has no idea about the position of Kozawa, who is in acres of space on the wide area. A long pass from the center back to Kozawa, and PSG scored the first goal. Since Kozawa was able to find so much space on the wide area, so in the second half, Dembele started playing almost like a wingback, as he was constantly dropping in the defense to keep track of Kozawa's runs. Dembele is now almost playing like a wingback, as Barcelona shift to a back five without possession to keep track of Kozawa's runs. Mbappe drops deep, he pulls the fullback out of his position and opens the space in the defense for the run of Kozawa. But thanks to Usman Dembele, Barcelona were now able to keep Kozawa quiet. By dropping Dembele in the defense, 
Barcelona were able to neutralize Kozawa, but the issues were still not fully resolved as the right back was still there to create issues for Barcelona on the other side. Dembele was able to stop Kozawa, but this is where Florenzi came into play as PSG tried to shift the focus of their attack from left to the right as they tried to create the same overloads on the right side. And this is how PSG scored the second goal of the game. Keen drops deep and he pulls Alba and PK out of their line to open the space in the defense for the run of the fullback. And unlike Dembele, Griezmann fails to track the run of Florenzi and PSG scored the second goal. Barcelona on the other hand also mostly kept a back three with possession. Alba was allowed to move up while Dest was trying to stay back to make a back three. One of the fullbacks was staying behind to make a back three while Alba was allowed to move up. Here again, Alba is allowed to move up while Dest is staying behind to make a back three with possession. The reason why Dest was asked to stay behind and make a back three was due to the threat of Kylian Mbappe on transitions. Again, back three with Alba given the license to attack the wide area. Barcelona lose possession, Alba is taken out and Mbappe is now ready to use his pace on transition. And this is where keeping Dest behind with the ball helped Barcelona as they were able to prevent PSG's quick transitions. PSG without possession kept a very compact 4-5-1 formation with little to no spaces in between the lines. PSG's very compact 4-5-1 formation with a distance of no more than 10 to 15 meters in between the lines. Because of the narrow distance in between the lines, Barcelona were finding it very hard to play through the lines and thus the only spaces available for Barcelona were behind the high line of PSG. Again, very compact formation and the only spaces available were behind the line. And this is what Barcelona tried to exploit. Runs from the deep with long passes behind the high line. Pass behind the line and Frankie de Jong tries to exploit the space behind the line and he wins the penalty for Barcelona. But surprisingly, even when Barcelona's offense included players like Tembele who is very quick, Barcelona still did not play enough passes behind the line. Osman Dembele makes a very well-timed run behind the line, but Barcelona chose not to pick his runs. Overall, it was a very dominant performance from PSG and they thoroughly deserved the victory. With a lead of 4 away goals, it would be quite a miracle if Barcelona can turn it around in Paris. Thank you so much guys for watching the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe.